So name a cricketer who has influenced your career. When I was younger, Carl Hooper saw me bat it when I was uh, 14, and he was the first person that told me that I'll be representing West Indies. Um, and that kind of motivated me and encouraged me to work harder. So I just want to be thankful to him. How do you plan to take West Indies cricket beyond the boundaries? Uh, being a senior member of the, the team, I think it's my duty to actually guide the younger players and let them understand what their goals are. From a personal point of view, my goal would be to try and get into the world top 10 rankings. And if I can do that, I'm sure my contribution would be good enough to help Western cricket get back to the top. So what are some of the characteristics that makes a cricketer superior than the rest? And obviously, you need to have good skills and also have discipline and determination and be able to analyze the game. But most importantly, you need to challenge yourself at all times and try and achieve your goals that you set yourselves. So if you had to choose a moment in your life that brought out your daring spirit, what would that be? Um, actually, when we toured Australia in 2000, the team went to Fun Park and there was this, uh, what do they call it, a sudden drop. Um, at that point in time, I didn't know much about it. So some of the guys told me that they want to take me up on the sudden drop and it took like kind of two minutes to get up and they said that it take about three minutes to get on. So I took the challenge up. Um, so we eventually got up in two minutes. And before I could actually inhale, we were down. So it took about two <laughs> seconds to get down back on the ground. So I thought that was really funny. Um, they kind of surprised me with it. What do you enjoy doing most in your free time? I love jet skiing also. I um, enjoy playing table tennis and squash. Um, because I also like to challenge myself, especially when I'm competing against my friends. Name one sport that you may not be so good in, but you have made improvements on over time. Um, that has to be football. Um, I've gotten quite a few lessons from the Jamaicans because they're pretty good at football. Uh, they've been laughing at me for the longest while, so I, they've, they've tried to encourage me and I've made a lot of improvements. In that. What type of music do you like and how does it represent your personality? I'm actually I'm into all types of music. I'm into soul, reggae and soca. The soca and the reggae represent the most adventurous side of me and the soul represent the, the loving and caring side of me. So describe your perfect date for us, set the scene, the place, just describe everything. It has to be a, a romantic dinner on a beach with candles and two bottles of wine red and white and probably Beyonce as well. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your most embarrassing moment? Uh, probably when we were playing against England earlier this year, I was warming up in front of a few ladies and I had my right leg up on the the board and I fell down in front of them so I kind of felt a bit bad but I also kind of laughed it out so it wasn't that bad after all. So as a role model what would you say to teenagers who want to be like you? Um, obviously if you want to achieve certain goals you have to, to work hard and also be disciplined, determined and dedicate yourself to whatever you want to achieve and you also have to, to live by certain things that you set yourself and try not to walk away from them.